What's up, Packers fans? That's right. The Green and Gold are bringing back Tyler Lancaster. Print the Super Bowl tickets. I kid. No, Tyler Lancaster, a rotational player that the Packers allowed to test free agency and apparently who didn't find much out there for him. So the Packers gamble, I guess you could call it, not to place a tender on Lancaster heading into free agency pays off. No word yet as to what the terms are of the deal. I can't imagine it's much more than a veteran's minimum. Packers no doubt need rotational guys along the defensive line with only three defensive tackles on board at the moment. Uh, prior to this signing. Now, is Lancaster a playmaker? Of course not. The guy has 79 tackles, one and a half sacks, and probably his biggest play of his career is the fumble recovery and forced fumble that he caused against Kansas City two years ago when he had LaShawn McCoy put it on the carpet. But outside of that, no one's expecting big plays from Tyler Lancaster. He's a guy who's going to come in, give you quality reps, probably, hopefully, off the bench, not as a starter, This also allows the Packers to not have to reach at 29 if they're staring at a defensive tackle and thinking, well, there's somebody else we like more, but we were so thin along the defensive line. We've got to take this guy and maybe they reach. This allows them to at least kind of step back and look at somebody depth wise and or true value wise in the draft. We'll see how Lancaster fits into their future plans. I would also caution that there's no guarantee that he even makes the 53, dependent on what happens for the rest of the offseason. But as far as a signing, much like Kevin King, a guy who you know what he brings, you don't have to ask too much of him, but he certainly allows for flexibility uh, and a rotational guy off the bench. Keep it here on Cheesehead TV for all the latest with the green gold. I'm Aaron Negler. Go Pack Go.